Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. Everything here is great. And this morning, I tried an experiment. Um, I told you a while back, I, weeks, month, I don't know, it, it doesn't matter. I told you at some point that at the beginning of this year, in March or February, or I think it was February and March, whatever, I tried to write a short story every week. I did it for five weeks. I wrote five short stories, and I immediately deleted them. They're gone forever. I have none of that content. The goal was to write a complete start-to-finish story in a week, and it turned out however long they turned out. Some of those stories were 5,000 words. Some of those stories were one of those stories was almost 20,000 words. Like, I really got into that one. Um, but they all, you know, I spent seven days. Whatever that, you know, and whatever I got done was what I got done. And at the end of the seven days, I deleted it. I did not write those stories for content. I wrote those stories for practice. I wrote those stories so that I could learn what it was like to be a writer, right? What it was like, how, how long does it take me to write a thousand words? How long does it take me to figure out plot points, how, you know, what does my, I tried outlining, I tried writing from the hip, I tried a whole bunch of different things in those five weeks, and I learned a whole lot, and I treated it like sand art, you know, it, it was just something, it was just an exercise and then gone, and I don't ever need to look back at it, right, and so none of that stuff got edited or, you know, rewritten or anything, it just went away. Um, and to be honest with you, it was mostly garbage. Like, it, they were all pretty bad in their own way, uh, each in their own different way, honestly. And it, it was never my intention to try to write publishable material there. It was just an exercise. Lately, I have been doing something similar, but I'm not trying to write a story. I often just get, like, a scene in my head. A character in a particular situation, and I want to to put that into the world somehow. And so lately I've been trying to just write those scenes, whatever they are, you know, and some of them have turned out to be pretty long, you know? Some of them have turned out to be thousands of words for one scene and not just a page or whatever. Well, yesterday I had this scene of, a, of in my head of a person, like a, like a, like a woodsman who is, is, you know, hunting or, or is out in the woods doing woodsman stuff when they stumble upon the presence of another person and, and something, ha you know, whatever happens, happens, right? And I thought, that's a fun scene. I should write that scene. And so that's what I did this morning's writing exercise was writing that scene. I haven't, now, I don't want to say I haven't written since March. I have written, I have a pretty detailed outline of a book that I'm going to write later this year. I'm going to try NaNoWriMo again. And I have, I have a pretty detailed outline of that book. Uh, but I haven't really written narratively since March. So this is like... This is maybe the... Third or fourth scene I've committed to paper over the last few months, last five months or whatever. And... Uh, it turns out that I had a really... I had a much bigger idea for the scene. And so this is maybe going to turn into a story. I think I have a full, complete story now, just thinking through this opening scene, like what is happening. And so when I sat down to write it this morning, I decided to try something. Uh, I decided to not use gender. I decided to write without assigning a gender to the main character, without the character talking about gender, without any other instances of gender in the writing and in 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 the hour i wrote i only got down about 700 words normally for me for an hour of effort if i when i have a clear picture like i had a clear picture of this scene when i have a clear picture i could normally get like 1200 words in an hour pretty easily 
700 words. And I can tell you that the majority of that was spent trying to figure out how to write sentences without gender. And it was really difficult for me. It was extremely difficult. I, you know, I, I'm 43. I grew up in a binary world. And that's how everything, that's how my whole life was lived up until the last, I don't know how many years when I've really been aware of the fact that non-binary is a thing, that um, gender neutrality is a thing, that there's a whole lot of other identifiers besides man, woman. And so I thought I would try to see what it's like to write through the eyes of a, not necessarily a non-binary character, but a character who doesn't, um, doesn't really give a damn about gender. I don't give a damn about gender, I, and I don't mean that to me, be like dismissive of people who are non-binary or whatever. What I mean is I don't look at the world that way. I don't look at people that way. I never have. Um, I also don't look at myself as I'm a man. Like, I have, my gender has never influenced my self-worth or my feelings or, like, I, that's not who I am. And so I try really hard not to judge others by their gender. I, I'm not going to say I've been successful my whole life. That's definitely not true. But <laughs> just the simple act of writing sentences without putting he, she, him in there, that her, whatever, just saying, and, you know, trying to come up with better ways to phrase things was very difficult. But I think, honestly, when I read it back, so I wrote, I wrote about 650 words, and then I went back and reread and edited. And I think it came out to be about 675 for this opening scene. Uh, and I'm an underwriter, so if I were to edit that, it would probably turn out to be doubled in size. Probably at least, at least 1,200 words, maybe more. You know, 1,200 to 2,000 words. Uh, when I read the sentences where... I knew I had trouble this morning. They're pretty good sentences. Like, without gender, without talking about him or her or whatever, just leaving all that off. I think it works really, really well. And it really, you know, one thing I've, I, I would like to do, if I were ever to become a writer, I'm not going to claim that I'm a writer. I, I like to write. And would I ever publish anything that I wrote? One of the things that I have been doing in the last four years or whatever I've been attempting to write is I try really hard not to define the characters in my writing by their characteristics, meaning their physical appearance. I try really hard not to use words like black and white and hair color and eye color. I, it, it, that doesn't matter to me, right? Like that, I don't give a damn. Also, I want that character to be, if this is a character that you enjoy, whoever you are, I want you to feel close to that character. I want you to feel represented by that character. And so taking the gender off of it is, a, is another layer that says this character is black, white, Hispanic, whatever you need this character to be, that's what this character is. If I could figure out how to make that work throughout the entire story with gender, then it could be any color, any gender, whatever you want this character to be is what that character is. And that could be, I think that, I enjoyed the challenge. I really did. It, 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 it taught me a lot about myself. It taught me a lot about how I, how I view the world, regardless of what I think, how I think I view the world. How I actually view the world is very different. And it, it was apparent in just trying to write these sentences without using gender. It was a really interesting experience and um, really eye-opening. I'm not going to claim that I will continue writing this this story without gender, um, but I think it's a fun opening for the reader to not know until I decide to tell you, um, because I think that 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 adds a little bit of mystery to it. Um, but I mean, who knows? Maybe I can figure out how to continue uh, the the story without gendering the character and letting you the reader decide for yourself like if that's important to you then you can assign the gender to the character that could be fun and by fun i don't mean like we i mean like that could be a, a neat thing 
and I haven't read a lot of fiction that works that way. I haven't read a lot. I, I read mostly fantasy, and let's be honest, fantasy is written by white dudes. And so all of the characters are, you know, females with full bosoms and fair skin and, and blue eyes. And um, that's always been off-putting to me. Uh, I think the world is much more diverse and colorful than that, and it, that needs to be shown, right? I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is neoconservative. It is a noun meaning a liberal who has become a conservative. We've removed Bradley from our list of social contacts because he has become such a neoconservative. Neoconservative, N-E-O-C-O-N-S-E-R-V-A-T-I-V-E. -E -E. I mean, this whole book has been written from a conservative perspective, so they're not going to be friends with a liberal who has become conservative?